There's a mystery off the southwestern tip of Newfoundland and Labrador, a massive shipwreck. It was discovered by a local resident along Cape Ray Beach. It has people far and wide mesmerized. So we're joined this morning by Sarah Smelly, a reporter with the Canadian Press. She's been covering this story. Uh, Sarah, we love a good mystery here at your morning. What do we know about this wreck? Um, I mean, at this point, we don't know much. Um, Neil Burgess, the president of the Shipwreck Preservation Society in Newfoundland and Labrador, he suspects that it may have been buried. This is a super sandy area, which is rare in Newfoundland, the rock. But he suspects that it may have been buried under the sand. You can see that, that sandy beach. Yeah. and. We have had massive, massive storms pouring through this area, particularly post-tropical storm Fiona. And from pictures and from, you know, talking to residents and from seeing some of the things along this beach, Fiona, like, churned away like, almost six feet worth of this coastline of all oh, the wow. sand thinks that maybe Fiona kind of started churning the sand away from this massive wreck and then subsequent storms have finally unearthed this thing so that it was able to be found by young Gordon Blackmore. Okay, tell me the story of young Gordon Blackmore. Was he just walking along and all of a sudden he saw a ship? Like, what happened? Yeah, so he's 21 years old and I spoke to his mom. He was out... Um, hunting for birds and so he was out there really early in the morning on January 20th a Saturday he saw this big dark shadow beneath the water and was like what is this he took a bunch of photos and videos went home went into his mom's house and said like you gotta see this and so yeah as soon as the tide went out she put on her jacket and she went down there and uh, that was it <laughs> I love this, this whole, like, the Earth revealing its secrets. This is amazing. Uh, there's not a lot of people in this, in, at least in this drone footage that we're showing people at home, in the area. Is it cordoned off? Can people go look for themselves? What's the community reaction? Um, people can definitely go look. Um, it's, I think it's technically like now an archaeological site and it's at a, it's, it's actually been unearthed at a provincial park. So people are not allowed to take ah. people. Pe get in trouble but yeah so far i mean the community is just entranced look at that thing and so people are online speculating there are wrecks all over newfoundland yes. so people are yeah speculating what it may be and they're just really taken with what this ship's story may be what the story may be about the people who may have been aboard like these are people who have grown up right by the ocean they're probably you know many of them are from generations and generations of fishing families they are familiar with the devastation that the ocean can bring and so i think they feel a real sense of care for this ship's story and that's just it it's preserving the story i mean there are amazing songs and lore that have come out of the almost the romance of shipwrecks so more to be learned in the days to come sarah thanks for joining us this morning oh so much it was a pleasure Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.